Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to configure global protect configuration in Palo Alto Firewall. So to configure Palo Alto Firewall for global protect VPN, we need to follow these steps. So first we are going to generate a certificate that we are going to use for the authentication. And then we will create a SSL TLS profile. After that we will create a authentication profile to authenticate our user. And finally, we will configure the GB global protect portal and the gateway. So first uh, we are going to generate a certificate. So this is the root certificate I already have generated. And next we are going to generate a certificate for our global protect. So the IP address or common name I'm going to use the IP address of this ethernet one slash two. So here the IP address is 192.168.113.136 The same IP address we are going to use in our certificate. So to generate the certificate we need to click on generate and the common name our certificate name we can give GP certificate and the common name will be IP address of Ethernet 1 slash 2. So it will be 192. 168.113.136 and it is signed by this GP root certificate. So we are going to select GP root certificate and generate. So now this uh, certificate has been generated and next we are going to create a authentication profile. So before that let's create a SSL TLS profile. So this will be GP service profile and the certificate we are going to select global protect certificate. After that, now we also need to create a user. So that user we will use for authentication. So we can create any user. I'm going to use GP VPN user and password is GP VPN user same pa same I'm going to use as a password okay so as of now we have generated the certificate we also have created the SSL TLS profile and we have created the user now we will configure the authentication profile so here we need to give any name we can give GP auth profile and what type of authentication you are going to use that you need to select under type okay so I'm going to use local database because as of now I do not have any uh, radius server or LDAP server that we will discuss later like how we can configure the LDAP or radius server so as of now I'm going to select local database and then we need to go under advanced and here we need to select that user so I'm selecting that GP VPN user that we have created earlier so as of now we have completed this uh, we have generated the certificate we also have created the SSL TLS profile and we also have configured authentication profile and now we are going to configure this uh, global protect portal and gateway <clears throat> so to configure the portal we need to go under network and under global protect click on the portal and then add so give any name GP portal and the interface we are going to use Ethernet 1 slash 2 so same IP address we, we are going to use and then authentication and the authentication we already have created SSL TLS profile so same we are going to select here after that now we are going to do client authentication so we will configure the client authentication so click on add so give any name GP client auth and authentication profile we are going to select the same that we have created earlier and here I'm going to select S yes, then click on OK. So uh, after completing authentication, 
now we need to configure the agent so this certificate I'm, I added this certificate so while doing the authentication this certificate will be installed in our local PC okay so if you are not selecting this then there will be some issue or you will face an error message you will get an error message like certificate verification failed so that kind of error message you will get while doing the authentication so that's why I have selected this certificate and I also requested to install in our local PC then next we are going to configure the agent so click on add so gp agent and we are going to save the credential and also i requested to generate the authentication override and the certificate we need to select gp root certificate here next here we don't need to do any uh, configuration so we need to go under external so here we have to configure the external ip address okay so once portal authentication will be completed then it will be forwarded this external gateway ip address so whatever ip address we are going to give here that ip address will be forwarded so we are going to give uh, name gp external any name we can give and I'm going to use IP address. So same IP address I'm going to use that is Ethernet 1 slash 2. So the IP address is 192.168 and 113.136. Okay. Either you can use FQDN or IP address. I'm using IP address. And next here we need to add any and what is the priority. So in, in the case if you have multiple external gateway you need to add all the uh, all the like here in that case you have to give the fqdn and all the ip address you have to add and the priority you have to select what priority you, you wanna give okay so right now we have only one external gateway so i have given this ip address and i have given the highest priority so select okay and okay once it is completed now we need to configure the gateway so click on the gateway and then click on the add give any name i'm giving gp external gateway and same interface we are going to use ethernet 1 slash 2 then authentication under authentication we can select gp service profile so whatever authentication profile we have created so same we are selecting here now we will do the client authentication for the external gateway so gp external gateway client auth any name we can give and authentication profile we are going to select the same gp auth profile and here we can select s okay user credential or client certificate required for authentication okay so once authentication is completed then we need to configure the agent so we can we need to select this tunnel mode okay and after that we need to select tunnel interface so i already have created this tunnel interface if you haven't created then you can go on tunnel and you can create that interface so I do, I'm not going to create it because I I already have created so I'm going to select this tunnel dot 100 okay then we need to go under client setting then add here we can give any name GP external gateway client config okay after that go under authentication override you can check this generate cookies authentication override so after 24 hours you have to authenticate once again okay so certificate we are going to select our root certificate here and ip pool so once authentication is completed so whatever ip pool we have created so our pc will get ip address from this pool so i'm going to give uh, 192.168.113.145 and one more ip address i'm going to give 
so this is the range I'm giving 113.146 so I have given only two IP address uh, 145 and 146 split I'm going to if nothing is working then this IP address will be assigned to our PC okay so we have completed this uh, external gateway configuration then click on ok after that commit once commit is successful then we are going to check whether we are able to connect with global protect or not let's let's wait until this uh, commit is successful now commit is successful so let's go to our PC and we will try to connect with global protect okay now let's open GP so the portal IP address we need to give here so portal IP address one moment let me check setting so here we are going to give uh, global protect uh, that portal IP address so the IP address we are using for portal 192.168 dot one one three dot one thirty six then click on connect and we have created user GP VPN user right so same we are going to give here and password is also same let's wait let's see whether it is connecting or not still working so it is connected properly and we can also do the verification under our firewall as well so here let's refresh it so under network and gateway you can if you click on remote user here we can see our GP VPN user is connected and what is the desktop and IP address and everything what is the time and what is the tunnel type all the information you will able to see so this is just a basic global protect configuration okay so uh, you can go through it and if you have any query just let me know or you can leave the comment in the comment box thank you so much for watching